and welcome to another episode of the iBook Guy. I've got a little trick for you today. Now, have you ever wanted to block one of those really annoying websites? Yeah, you know the kind I'm talking about. The kind that pop up uh, from other websites that you're visiting which are trying to sell you either scams or pornography or some kind of stupid software that claims to speed up your computer or something to that effect. Here, let me show you an example. So here's an example from a website everybody should be familiar with, the Pirate Bay. So when you click on a torrent that you might be interested in, well looky here, you get this pop-up website that's really annoying. It's called, this particular case, it's Vube.com. Um, you know, the pop-up blockers never seem to work, so I'm going to show you why you can block those websites. So um, here's how you want to deal with this on OS X. Uh, just go ahead and open up your utilities folder and find the terminal program. And uh, then go ahead and type in sudo nano. And the file you want to edit is uh, private etc hosts. Now, what this file contains is basically DNS entries that uh, override your regular uh, DNS server that you have programmed into your TCP IP settings. So, uh, when you put in a domain name, if uh, it matches one of the names in this list, it'll automatically try to go to the IP address you've assigned here instead of whatever the normal DNS entry would be. So, in this case, uh, what you want to go ahead and do is uh, create 127.0.0.1, that's basically your local host. So it'll point any website that you type after this to your local computer instead of where it's supposed to go. And if, since your um, uh, local computer probably isn't running a web server, uh, you just won't get anything. And you can add as many entries in here as you want. I'll put uh, three of the most annoying websites I can think of off the top of my head. Once you're finished, go ahead and hit Control X and then uh, Yes to save. Okay, now let's try to open up that Vube.com that I uh, had trouble with earlier, and as you can see, Google Chrome can't find the page anymore. Okay, so after you make these changes, they may or may not take effect immediately. You may need to clear your DNS cache. Now, there's different ways to do that depending upon which version of OS X you're running. I would also like to mention, uh, this will also work on Windows and Linux machines. Um, the, uh, the host file is in a different folder though, so you just have to look up and find out where your host file is. Um, but uh, even if you don't clear your DNS, uh, a reboot probably would take care of that for you and get that working right away. It's also possible in some cases that uh, you'll still get a pop-up from the website you're trying to view, but it may just give you an error that it can't find anything, which is better than uh, having the annoying website pop up, which often uh, plays all kinds of sounds or has movies playing in it or whatever, so at least you're getting a blank page. Uh, rather than the annoying page. Anyway, I hope this little trick helps you out. Uh, you can put as many of those entries in there as you want and uh, you know just as every time you encounter an annoying website like that just go add it to the list and uh, eventually you'll have a lot of a lot.